now on Denver 7 News at 5 o'clock, the boys of summer are back. It is Rocky's opening day and the revamped and recharged team is ready to rock Force Field. I'm just really happy with the situation that we have. You watch baseball around the league, you need that. You need guys who are getting hot and carrying the team and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully that's something we do a lot of. They're ready. We have special team coverage of the season opener all morning long. And our team is all here. I'm Jessica Crawford along with Brian Sanders live from Coors Field. <laughs> and it's a hey, good, uh, good morning. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you go ahead, Brian. Good morning, uh, Jessica. Hey, the, the party gets started here a little later on today. And, and, and what a day it's going to be a celebration for the city. A uh, celebration for baseball being back, the crowds being back in full force for the first time really since 2019. Uh, the, the first pitch is just after 2 p.m. here at Coors Field, but the festivities really get started before that. 11 o'clock is when the party gets started over at McGregor Square just across 20th Street from the stadium. Uh, they will have drink specials. They will have their 66 foot uh, big screen TV uh, showing uh, baseball games there. And we've got uh, a, a complete coverage of all the fan festivities coming up here in just a little bit here at the stadium. Thank you, Brian. It's going to be a great day for baseball. The weather is finally calm after a windy week. Yeah, good timing weather wise, right? Great baseball weather today. 60s and sunshine. You saw Brian with his jacket on. It's a little chilly this morning. Down to near freezing. Much calmer winds, though. It's going to be a lot better today and tomorrow. The winds are going to pick back up on Sunday, though. We are tracking a weak cold front. We'll talk more about that coming up, but let's soak this in first. Take a look at our hourly planner right around 11 o'clock when things get going there at McGregor Square. We're going to be at 53 degrees. You may want a light extra layer in the shade. It could get a little chilly. Mid to upper 60s, though, during the game, right around first pitch and the flyover. We're going to be at 62 degrees, so some really nice weather. Upper 60s by the end of the game. 40s to 50s in the mountains today with, again, calmer conditions. So Jason, great weather today. It's quite a bit warmer tomorrow, mid to upper 70s Saturday. We are tracking though a couple of cold fronts. I'll show you how that's going to impact the Super 7 day coming up. And obviously there will be a lot of folks in around Coors Field and it will be busy in Lodo right now going across I-25. It looks fine right by Coors Field. 20th Street is one of the ways to get right to the south side of Coors Field right by McGregor Square. That should stay open is 22nd uh, that between there and 20th on Blake will be closed down right in front of the Stadium. And of course, after the game, I-25 will be extra heavy. Take a look at the drive down there right now, and it looks great right around Coors Field. There will be a lot of folks even not going to the game. They'll be milling around Lodo, so expect some uh, extra foot traffic around there as well. But as far as the drive right now, it looks great. It should be a little bit lighter than normal. It is a Friday after all, and a lot of folks will be taking either a half day or maybe a full day off for Rocky's opening day. And the Rockies are just hours away from the start of their 2022 season. Let's head right back out to Brian Sanders now. It's going to be a busy day on Blake Street. Oh, well, I was so excited. I, I, I apparently jumped the gun there. But yes, I mean, it's going to be a big celebration for the city to have a full capacity crowd back here at Coors Field for the first time since 2019 on opening day. Uh, the crowds will be back downtown flooding the businesses and um, celebrating baseball in the city today. So the first pitch for the Rockies is at 2 10 p.m. But the festivities get started at McGregor Square at 11 a.m. There are drink specials there. Uh, they have their 66 foot big screen TV where the the Red Sox Yankees play at 11 o'clock. So you could technically watch baseball uh, all day long without even having a ticket. The Dairy Block is going to have some live music. If you are lucky enough to have a ticket to the opening day game, the gates will open here at noon and there's plenty of entertainment uh, pregame. You can uh, watch batting practice, of course, maybe get an autograph from one of the players. You can even try out your own pitching arm uh, or the batting cages as part of the fan experience. And then the, the pregame ceremony will actually start at 1.30. You may want to find your seat before then. Uh, there will be a flyover from the Colorado National Guard after the national anthem. From the Air Force Academy, we have Stellar Brass. They'll, they're coming with a band and a soloist, so both vocal and then some instruments. So they'll give that right patriotic flair, the right sound. Um, and then we also have a flyover scheduled with our friends over at Buckley Space Force Base. 
Yeah, of course, the uh, the big headliner, Broncos quarterback Russell Wilson, will be throwing out the ceremonial first pitch. Uh, he's not the only one, though. He'll be joined by a gold award winning Girl Scout, uh, the boy, Boys and Girls Clubs of Metro Denver's Youth of the Year, and a season ticket holder since the Rockies' inception in 1993. Uh, by the way, if you've ever dreamed of singing the national anthem, you can make a YouTube video and send that link to the Rockies, and they like to invite soloists to come sing the national anthem throughout the season so what an honor that would be uh, let's take a look at some of the players a lot of new faces on the team this year here's a couple that will be making their debut at Coors Field today with the Rockies uniform Jose Iglesias of course who is taking over for Trevor Story uh, the beloved shortstop for so many years this season Iglesias has been in the major leagues for 10 years now he's played for a handful of teams before coming here originally from Cuba and he earned the American League Rookie of the Year award in 2013 he signed a six year $140 million deal with the Rockies. And then of course uh, the big name there's Chris Bryant an outfielder and power hitter who rose to stardom with his time with the Cubs leading them to their first World Series since 1908 back in 2016. Uh, started the 2021 season with Chicago. He was traded to the Giants later in the season. Fans of course flooded social media with mixed reaction i guess to the seven year 182 million dollar deal with the rockies some were excited others concerned over injuries that have plagued him lately bryant himself though sounded optimistic about the team dynamic heading into the season a lot of the guys personalities in there's really just complement each other and um i feel like i compliment a lot of people there too so you have your fair share of goofballs i guess the guys that talk talk um, and it's great. I'm just really happy with the situation that we have. Yeah, he's saying, hey, don't sleep on this team either. We may surprise some people, even though we're not picked to win the division uh, in the preseason. His jersey is going to be a hot commodity because he's the, the big name, the new face of the team this year. He will wear the number 23, not the number 17 that he wore with the Cubs, but the number 23 he wore with the Giants. We found workers at the team store double teaming the machines to make Chris Bryant jerseys and tees yesterday. Chris Bryant's going to be the story for retail this year. We've you know, had a hard time getting jerseys because of the, all the supply chain issues. So our staff made 300 Chris Bryant jerseys in the last two days. We have almost 800 Chris Bryant name and number t-shirts. We have youth t-shirts for Chris Bryant. We have pennants. We have lapel pins and there's more items coming. Yeah, so much swag out there. Uh, Chris Bryant will be playing in the outfield, not third base. Uh, that will go to Ryan McMahon. If you're wondering uh, about the, the biggest selling Rockies jersey of all time, that goes to uh, Charlie Blackman, the beard, who will be a designated hitter this year in the leadoff batter, but he beat out the likes of uh, even Larry Walker in jersey sales. Um, so with the Avalanche and Nuggets, of course, headed to the playoffs, we've got a lot to celebrate with Denver sports teams here lately. What are the Rockies' chances to make it to the postseason after their three-year drought? Well, they are starting off, of course, against the Dodgers, who are the odds favorite to win the World Series this year. MLB.com has the Dodgers number one in their power rankings. The Rockies rank 24th out of the 30 teams right now. Analysis from multiple sports outlets like The Athletic and The Ringer say Chris Bryant could be the driving force uh, behind the plate to get to the Rockies in at least contention for the postseason. So it is an exciting day for Denver. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people are expected to uh, flood the downtown streets. Of course, in addition to the fans that will be in the stadium, a lot of the small businesses around here will be looking forward to uh, having fans back in the area and looking forward to their business. But we also want everyone to stay safe in the area. I want to send it out to Denver 7's Colette Bordelon to talk about the added police presence that will be down here today. Brian, like you were just saying, we're about to see the Denver I know and love tonight. People coming out, but with those people coming out, police will also be out and about. You'll probably see them around. Of course, the biggest concern for Denver police, making sure people get to and from the game safely today. So if you're drinking, make sure you're not driving. Take an Uber, bus, or even walk since it's going to be a nice day out. That also means drivers need to be on their game today. Watch out for all of the pedestrians or cyclists who are sharing the roads. Police say they'll also have officers stretching from Union Station to Coors Field, 
most of them will be closer to the ballpark. Of course, if anyone notices anything suspicious, police want you to tell them as quickly as possible. If there's something just doesn't look right to you, whether it's, it's an individual, a person, or just a suspicious package or something, please bring it to their attention right away. Now here at 21st and Blake, police say they're going to have a community table set up where anyone with any kind of question can come and get help. Things with directions or anything you might need, you can come and ask Denver police what exactly to do. Brian, I feel like you're having a lot of fun out here this morning. Oh, and, and, and it, the fun is just starting because at 6 o'clock they're going to let us in the gates here and we're going to get to go inside the stadium and get a look. Uh, coming up a little bit later, we're going to talk about Coors Field. We're going to talk more about the fan experience. But before then, Jessica, I know you have some reminders for people that are headed down here today. That's right, Brian. So if you're going to the game or any time this season, try to get to Coors Field at least an hour early to give yourself enough time to get through security. Tickets are digital this year. Make sure you have access to the MLB ballpark app before you arrive. You're not allowed to bring backpacks or other multi pocketed bags. If you're looking to buy food or merch, Coors Field is cashless. You can use credit cards or Apple Pay. We have these tips and a full opening day schedule right now on the DenverChannel.com and the Denver 7 mobile app. Cleanup for the Marshall Fire may be underway, and now so is a new lawsuit. Why one Florida-based company wants the current cleanup contract to be made invalid. Plus, now that baseball is back in full swing, so is hope in the baseball ballpark district. What local businesses are hopeful for ahead of the start of the season.